When a person gains weight, it means they consume more calories than they burn. Calories are the body's fuel, obtained from food and drinks, and expended during everyday activities. Physical activity or exercise increases calorie burn, whereas a sedentary lifestyle decreases it. Excess calorie intake leads to fat accumulation in the body. Conversely, weight loss occurs when calorie intake is less than the body's requirements, leading to the burning of stored body fat. The basic principle of weight gain states that an excess of 3,500 calories results in approximately one extra pound of fat, or around 450 grams. Thus, consuming an additional 3,500 calories beyond your daily requirement will result in gaining roughly 450 grams of fat. During periods like the New Year, it's considered possible for a person to gain up to 10 pounds, about 5 kilograms, per week. However, not all of this weight is fat. Part of it is glycogen, which binds with water molecules. Of the 10 pound gain, approximately 7 pounds may be fat, and the remaining 3 pounds glycogen bonded with water. Our bodies store about 500 grams of glycogen, 100 grams in the liver, and 400 grams in muscles. This glycogen binds with water at approximately three times its weight, totaling around 2 kilograms or 4 pounds. Therefore, rapid weight fluctuations of about 4 pounds are mainly due to changes in glycogen and water levels. Specifically, during the initial days of rapid weight gain or loss, about 75% of the weight change is typically glycogen and water. Muscle mass does not increase rapidly with weight gain. Even under optimal nutrition, muscle growth is slow. When weight is gained, only about 10% constitutes muscle growth, the majority is fat and glycogen. For instance, experienced athletes might gain about one pound of muscle per month, while beginners might gain more, potentially twice as much. After an initial weight gain, such as 10 pounds in a week, where almost half is water and glycogen, continued excessive eating will lead to predominantly fat gain. Similarly, during the initial days of weight loss, calorie deficit leads to glycogen being used as energy, and its associated water is excreted. Thus, the majority of the first few pounds lost are water and glycogen, followed by fat loss. Muscle mass may also be lost if protein intake and strength training are not maintained. Muscle loss is undesirable as it decreases physical strength and metabolic rate. Consuming 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight can significantly prevent muscle loss during weight reduction. 